Ben for Muffin. Hi there guys, it's Muffin. Um, today I'm showing you, uh, hopefully, sort of showing you how to drift on Test Drive Unlimited 2. Um, as you can see, this is my second gameplay on Test Drive. Um, not much to say about it really, it's just uh, people have been struggling to find a way to drift. And I've kind of found a way, it's not, not the best. Um, but as you just saw, I just changed from full assistance to uh, sport mode on the uh, difficulty setting. And what basically what sport mode does is put uh, takes stability control and traction control off. But you've like it's almost like you've still got it's almost like half on half off. So you've still got a bit of traction when you go around a corner. But um, that's how I sort of drift, I guess. It's um, you have to keep it going quite a bit. But uh, I mean, it is very hard to drift on this game is it like if you want to get into drift on it's fun going get Forza but I guess this is like not not, not a sort of a drifting game sort of thing but what I'm doing right here is accelerate and then I sort of tap X go around the corner sharply and it gets it sideways sort of and to keep it going I up the revs and like every now and then I'll tap X keep tapping X and it'll keep it going um, it's better to drift in hardcore mode to be honest as you can see I just change here to hardcore and then that just removes all traction and stability and everything and it just goes mad um, it's stupidly hard to control so um, it's more, a lot more fun but you know it's hard to, like as you can see just how to spin out um, it's really really hard to control but I mean if you could get used to it you'd be bloody good at drifting on this game but um, one of the things that ruins drifting on this game is the way when you go around a corner like this, it, like it, your speed just goes down like rapidly. If you could keep, keep the speed up, though, you can on fours or three as an example. You just keep going and going and going. But on this, you just lose feed, like feed, decreased in speed. Sorry, so fast, um, and which makes you, you know, obviously your wheel stop spinning. You gain traction, and then you go and give it too much, like too many revs, and it will just spin out. You know, you have to really counter steer as well, and that also doesn't help. But you know, um, that's the best way I've found to drift. I mean, you know, feel free if like, if, if any of you have found a way to drift or anything, comment telling me how, uh, or post a video response if you've got a YouTube channel. You know, um, but so far this is the best way I've found. Um, I haven't really seen many ways on YouTube or anything either. I'll just show you guys now what it's like in full assistance. Um, you know the dif difference of what it's like, and seriously, you can't even drift in full assistance. You're like, it's, I guess it's just like traction, to to yeah, traction control and stability control and everything, all in one. And look, you just you, yeah, you can't do it. That's me like holding X, which is the handbrake, and it just goes blah, and doesn't even yeah gain too much traction but um, that's pretty much the only way I found to drift as I've said several times but I'm just changing it back to hardcore and showing you the difference between full assistance and hardcore but um, whichever you choose between sport and hardcore is up to you I mean it's, I guess it's like balance and everything I mean if you can drift in hardcore and control it and keep it going then go for it you know um, but if, if you like like me as an example, I quite often drive in sport now because it seems to get more performance out of the car. But you know, if you can control it, um, it's, it's a bit of fun as well around the corners. Then you know, just go for sport, and it's something that you can control to an extent as well. But um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, please comment, like, and all that. If you really enjoyed my video, subscribe. You know, it helps me out a lot. And, uh, see you guys later.